Listen, uh, I want you to take extra special care of this vehicle. Hey, no problem. Trust me. Uh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working at Normal House to try to get it a little less normal and more functional. One problem that I've been having on this back side of the house, the north side of the house, it never really gets any sun. I, you know, gets diffuse sun, you know, bouncing off of everything, but it never gets to any direct sun. Is there was a lot of rot happening over here, and just looking down at the bottom edge where the the wood is near the earth, there's not a proper amount of space between the dirt and the, the mud and the plants and everything and, and the, uh, the wood of the house and it's just really obvious to me why this stuff is all rotting out. It's just water splashes down on the ground after falling off the roof goes up on the house and especially because it's on the north side of the house and never gets hit with sun it just stays wet all the time. Now the people that built this house should have known better than to create it this way. Uh, you, you, you know you should have a good like six or eight inches between you know the ground and anything on your house that can rot so it's you know up a little bit from the ground it's not going to uh, well be rotting out on you so what I'm doing today is I'm going to be uh, digging a trench uh, from this area to try to drain this area down and then what I'm going to do over time is just widen out that trench and just try to get it so that the entire area around the house it's just set down a little bit. Now, the reason that I'm not going to just dig down the area right around the house is because then it would become a pool, it would be become a puddle. So what I need to do first is make sure that, that any water that does collect there has a route down and away from the house. But, as I said, once I get that route away, I'll be widening it out and just trying to get this whole area down a little bit. So, this is just one more thing that I'm doing to try to just keep this house from self-destructing slowly over time as it has been doing for the past decade or so since it was built. Again, these are things that, you know, anybody building a house, yeah, anyone who calls it their profession really should know this kind of stuff. I, I obviously, as a professional photographer, you know, I, <laughs> I shouldn't be catching prof professional builders and mistakes they're making, but, you know, you never do a better job than you do on your own as just a regular informed person, I find. And today, I'm going to be fixing the problem left by the people before me. I'm going to this up. All right. So you can grab the stuff. One thing that I'm doing with all the dirt that I'm grabbing from down here is that I'm using it to solve another problem. There's a lot of rain that falls off the roof up here and it just slams right down in this area and it's washed out all this area around the foundation. That uh, leaves a lot of the foundation open to the winter and also water pools in these areas and just goes right down into the foundation, right down into the basement. This foundation was never particularly well uh, water insulated. There was some tar put on it, but it, it was a sloppy job. A lot of it looks like it's kind of washed off. And um, if I can just get this area kind of built up and shedding water away from the house instead of fu funneling water down towards the house, that will help a lot with the humidity issues down in the basement. So I'm taking the dirt from down here and using it to solve this other problem. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be layering a lot of just vegetative matter. I'm going to rip up weeds and things like that and just mix them all in with here because if I just put in a bunch of sand and dirt and silt, it's all just going to wash out again. So I'm mixing it with as much vegetative matter as I can up here and hopefully I can solve two problems at the same time. Now I just have to put in the, you know, the muscle and sweat time to make the whole thing happen. So that's it. I hope that this is helpful if you have a problem with a rotting foundation. It might be that your, you know, your dirt is just too close and you need to get that gap there. And if you have a problem with humidity and moisture getting down into your basement, it might be an issue where water is being funneled towards your foundation instead of away. And you can oftentimes solve both problems in the same step. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.